to reading with Tatiana. Today I'm reading Big Swiss by Jen Began and holy cow what did I read? I gave this book a 4 out of 5. Today my booktuber shout goes out to The Poptimist. I'm going to link his direct review of this book Big Swiss is also. If I get a very funny review, he is a booktuber. Uh, his review is called Big Swiss is the Goblin Mode novel. Um, his review was very funny, he had very funny commentary. The comment section is really funny. So if you want to uh, check out his review of this book, I'll link it down below. And as always, before I go into my full book review, if you're watching this video, I always appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below what you thought of this book, Big Swiss, because I went in blind because uh, my book club in real life picked this book. And I was like, I'll just read it. I won't read the premise. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I had no idea what was happening and it was an experience. This book was published this year in 2023. There was a bidding war, I think, of like 14 different publishers that want to get it. So there's lots of like, like um, I guess like excitement and anticipation for this book. Uh, it is, the genre is fiction. I would say LGBTQ queer. And also uh, a new genre I discovered at my book club is this is called liter literary fiction, which means that it's more character based and not plot driven. A bit about the author Jen Vegan. So she has a Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing from the University of California. This is her third book and her two other books are actually like, um, not a trilogy, but like a duo. Like there's like, it's, it's sequential. And her first two books was about like a house cleaner that also like had privy to people's lives. And it's interesting because she was also a house cleaner before she became a full-time writer. And it's kind of cool because she's kind of known to blend reality with her fictional stories. So for example, in Big Swiss, the protagonist lives in an old Dutch house, old 300 year old Dutch house, which um, Jen Began has lived in, in Hudson as well. Hudson is a city where Big Swiss is also set. And she also has two mini donkeys in real life. And there are two mini donkeys in Big Swiss. So it's kind of cool how it's like a blend of reality. It also makes me like, realize or make the assumption that maybe something that happened in this book happened in her life or she knows about it happened to because how do you even think of these things to write about? So anyways, food for thought. So now let's get into the premise and the characters of the book. So we first meet Greta. She uh, She's in her mid 40s, I believe, and she just moved to Hudson to start anew as she left a 10 year ish relationship. And her tenure relationship was to a man who was honestly to be lovely, but she describes that those 10 years ago, she was kind of like in a daze and wasn't really awake. But he was really good. He helped her change careers. He was very supportive, very loving. But for Greta, something was missing. So she moves to Hudson and she becomes a transcriber for a local sex therapist whose name is Om. So this book is basically Greta transcribing these therapy sessions. And then because she lives where she works, she'll go to the coffee shop or she'll go to the park and then she'll recognize people's voices from a transcription um, and she'll know like all her dirty details but they have no idea who she is. It's kind of like a superpower. And as I said before, Greta lives in this like decrepit house with her roommate Sabine, who is a woman in her in her 50s and they have like a cool, they get to know each other, they've known each other for years and they kind of come in about each other's lives and Sabine's kind of like interesting uh, she's in her 50s, she kind of has like no schedule. They live in this decrepit 300 year old Dutch house where it's like a giant like beehive, there are like um, stink bugs, there's like maggots, like it's just like crazy living as a condition. They have to like heat, heat themselves through the wood stove every day or they'll freeze to death. It's just very interesting. So anyway, so Alm is the employer she works for and Alm is a sex therapist. So they live in this town called Hudson, which is very incestuous, very gossipy, and everyone has like a crazy like kink or sexual thing going on in your relationship. So, you know, it's already an interesting premise because Greta has previewed these people's private lives by transcri transcribing all these sex therapy se sessions. And then there's this one client that Greta is kind of like really enthralled by, I guess, and she calls her Big Swiss. Uh, just because Big Swiss um, talks about therapy is very interesting. You know, it doesn't really believe that her trauma makes her who she is. Her, she herself has been uh, violently assaulted in the past and that kind of stuff. But 
um, Greta is very drawn to big Swiss. One day, Greta is at the dog park with her dog, and her dog is attacked by a pit bull. And this woman comes and grabs the pit bull by the hind legs to fend off the pit bull. And then when Greta and this woman start talking, Greta comes to know that big that this woman is big Swiss just by the voice. And in a crazy, unpredictable turn of events, Greta and Big Swiss then start having this affair. And I say affair because Greta is single, however Big Swiss is a gynecologist who's married to a man. And Big Swiss is in her like late 20s, I think 28 years old. So then basically, you know, there's all those like ethical issues of Greta is the transcription of Big Swiss's therapy session and they start having this illicit affair and it's just crazy and wild and that's where I'm going to stop. Common themes I found in this book is the idea of trauma and how it shapes you. Greta and Big Swiss both had trauma in their childhood and adulthood that kind of made them who they are at this point in the story. And we can see how Greta and Big Swiss deal with the trauma and how it also bleeds into their like illicit affair and how they interact with each other. Um, also the idea of infidelity, it's pretty wild because Big, um, Greta meets Big Swiss's husband and it's this whole thing. I just, bleh, like it's a lot to process. Um, and also for me, the idea of discovering herself. It was very refreshing to have a protagonist in her mid 40s versus like early 20s for once. And just that, you know, you can still change, you can still learn about yourself. And Greta is, I wouldn't say like a protagonist you root for or enjoy, but she's someone that you're just like, um, maybe cheering for or maybe just like hope she deserves better. I don't know. I'm still processing this book. It was a lot. So I gave this book a 4 out of 5, so obviously there are things I didn't enjoy about this book. So one thing for me, because it is literary fiction, this new drama I found out about, there's no real plot or closure. It feels very slice of life. Like you kind of like pop into this book, you follow these characters for a bit and you pop out. I normally do like slice of life, but because this book was so chaotic, I felt like I needed more plot or rhyme and reason to justify their behavior and actions. So for me, that was a con for this book. Pros about this book is I almost gave this a 5 out of 5 just because of the entertainment. I feel like this book I recommend people read just to go like WTF. You literally can like flip the book and stop at any page and be like shocked by something each page. Um, yeah, I felt like this book was very entertaining. I had no idea what was going to happen and because of that it kept me on my toes and I wanted to keep reading it. Um, so that's why I really liked about this book. On Goodreads, this book got a 3.7 out of 5 overall. Um, I think that's pretty accurate. I think people were very... I think that's why this book is like good because people either loved it or hate it. There was a lot of like ambivalent reviews. So people, why they thought it was bad was they could not finish it. They felt the shock factor was very forced. As I said before, you could never guess what was going to happen. People did not enjoy that. They felt it was just shock for sake of shock. And because it's not plot driven, you can't really understand or justify the things that were happening. So I can agree with that. And also people didn't understand why Big Swiss, who's like this successful gynecologist in her late 20s, who's very attractive, very beautiful, would be interested in Greta, who's in her mid 40s, kind of frumpy, don't really know what's going on in her life. Um, so yeah, that I guess I can see, but you know, sometimes there was a connection, there was a connection. Um, good reviews were people who are fans of, I'm not familiar with this author, Otessa Moshfeg. Moshfeg. Um, people, if they're fans of Otessa's writing, uh, really love this like idea of surreally messed up female protagonists. Uh, very tongue-in-cheek approach and also had humor. People also love the yin and yang of Greta and Big Swiss. Why I think you should read this book, I think you should read it if you love um, chaotic, unhinged women protagonists. Um, there is no rhyme or reason in this book, it's just very chaotic and it's very entertaining. Now I'll share how this book made me feel because if people refer a book to me, I always like to ask them how it made them feel because if I read a book, I probably won't remember exactly what happened in this book. Um, even during the book club, which is like a day after I finished the book, there were some things that people brought up. Just like, I forgot that even happened because it's so ridiculous that I kind of like blocked it from my memory. Um, so this book, it made me feel very unhinged. Like if I was Greta living that life, I don't know how I would feel. I feel, I'll probably feel like unhinged or manic and it was just, it was a ride. 
Thanks for watching until the end of my book review for Big Swiss by Jen Began. If you read this book, I'd love to hear what you thought down below. And if you watch until the end of this part of my review, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!